I just had to take a call there, but um, really? I was going to almost swear there, but because this is a PG rated show, I'm just going to not swear. Don't put me under pressure on the camera. Hi, this is Travis Harlick with Remax Real Estate and Travis Harlick and Associates. And this is Longhorn Diaries. We'll be bringing you everything you need to know about the real estate world, all from the cab of my truck. So just having returned uh, actually from Boston, I was at a conference there uh, that was hosted by a digital marketing company that, uh, that I hired about a year ago. And the strategies and the ideas and the concepts that they teach us on are just absolutely fantastic. They're unreal and I can't wait to implement them into my everyday business. Uh, which in turn helps my clients uh, both when they're buying a home and selling a home. The biggest takeaways that I got, and this is applicable to absolutely everybody, um, you know, whether you're in my business, whether you're in the fitness industry, whether you are an employee at a company, um, this is applicable to absolutely everybody. And what that message is, is that Everybody talks about the future because it gives them an excuse to not execute what they want to do today. Now that was a message that was shared by uh, one of the co-founders of the company uh, at the conference uh, that I was attending. Uh, his name is Chris Smith and that was a big, big uh, kind of tidbit that I walked away with. And it's so, so true is that you know, everyone is focused on what the future is going to bring and worrying about the future and how you know the economy is going to affect their business or their personal life or maybe their friendships, how it's going to affect them today or their fitness goals or whatever it may be. Instead of worrying about that, just focus on today and make things happen. Focus on today and make sure that you're working towards your goals and no matter what area of life that's going to be in. And then just the outcome is going to be simply success. And that's the bottom line. This week, my new website is going to be rolling out here. It's very interactive. It shows out, so shows you exactly what our marketing game plan is. Um, you know, a few tidbits of it actually, and uh, kind of what our method to our madness is when we're marketing homes for sale. So I'm pretty excited about it. So stay tuned about uh, about the new website. This week is also a fantastic week because we have. Uh, my annual pumpkin giveaway. So, so Sarah, what? how many pumpkins have we delivered so far? Um, maybe like 15. Only 15. 15. Because we've done 10,000 miles in the country. How many pumpkins per minute is that? I've been doing this now for probably 9, 10 years. One of my most favorite times of year. Uh, it's fun, it's interactive, and who doesn't like receiving a pumpkin on their doorstep? So we've got Trav and Sarah here. Sarah, say hello. 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 We are doing our annual pumpkin drop off here for some amazing clients. And uh, we love doing this every year to show our appreciation. And it's a nice little gesture. It's a beautiful time of year. Sunshine. The sunshine is out finally today. It's not snowing. It's about mid October, and this is absolutely fantastic. So follow us today drop off a lot of pumpkins. Just uh, cruising around in good old Genesis on the lakes today. Uh, showed a couple of my properties that I have listed in here. And uh, just want to give a shout out to this development. It's growing on me so much over the past couple of years as more and more people start to call it home. More and more people build and develop this neighborhood. So. It's, it's actually really, really nice in here. I appreciate absolutely everything, the design of it. The lake in here is gorgeous. The architectural controls is gorgeous. The landscaping that everybody has in here is absolutely gorgeous. So, And it's one of your few, few, few options to get estate lots, right? If you wanna have a big place, a big garage, uh, you know, with a nice view or something like that, then chances are it's gonna be probably in this development. And being beside Sorrentino's is not a bad thing either. So yeah, whenever the, the parties of a transaction that are currently in a contract that's pending, whenever one of them requests 
or, or requires a change to the contract to be made, it must be made on an amendment. That is typically a one-page document where the buyer and seller uh, indicate what changes are to be made to the contract and they both have to sign off on it and notices to be given uh, to each party in order for it to become legally binding and officially amend the contract. An addendum is something that is strictly just added to a contract um, and basically means that my rule of thumb to explain an addendum is that if you run out of room on the standard uh, contract then you just have an addendum to form part of the contract before it has been officially uh, agreed to or pending. An addendum is not a document that you can simply add to a contract after the fact because technically you'd have to amend that contract to then include an addendum. So an amendment versus an addendum, very close in nature, can be used for the same thing-ish. However, an amendment is always needed to officially change or modify the contract after it has been agreed to by the buyer and seller. All right, long story short, we are uh, a little bit behind today. Should have been uh, driving with the Dodge, do you agree? Yes, we should, well, it's because we keep, stop, keep stopping to talk to the goats. Ha! Ah!